guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Metro Exodus and Us Edition. Uh, we read the journal in the previous episode, so we're all up to date on the lore. And now it is time to uh, look around a bit. excitement in their everyday life, so they tell those tales, you know. What else did they tell you? I'm really hooked now. Italy is in the south. Did they tell you about the north? Of course they did. Okay, one radio amateur told me of Palerne Zuri. The life was easy and nice, yet it was a town near Arhanis. Or Murmans. Or, yeah, out there, so. Sounds wicked cold. Naturally, it is as north as it gets. Take a seat. Don't be sick in the house. nuclear power plant, so they had power. They had instruments. They even computers, like before the war. Just imagine how Salantius would react to them. Well, that old man would have started preaching the holiness of electricity there. He's a con man. Have you seen him? <laughs> Yeah, sounds like heaven. What is it like now? Oh yeah, they did have a nice thing going. Still, I didn't ever hear any transmission from them, and the guy who told me about them, he also told me they came under attack from some barbarians. Uh, there's always some danger. Did you hear anything about the Metro? 
The Metro. Are you were the first I heard it from? <laughs> Still, I did hear about one guy from the Urals. Let me recall his name. Uh, uh, I think it was Ilya. Wait, I know him. Ilya Muramets. Yes, you nailed it, Sam. He's a man of legends. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to that man of legends? Ah, so he found a tunnel boring machine and decided to dig a tunnel to Moscow, but ended up arriving in hell itself instead. Uh, it could be that he just died on the way, didn't even notice, I guess. Kriast, you already told us about the south, the north, the underground. Did you hear stories of the ocean? Anna says she had always dreamed of the ocean. Of course I did. Okay, this one I had near Astrakhan. An ex-seaman told me that some of his pals back at the Baltic Sea found a working submarine in an abandoned dock or something. It was a nuclear missile sub called Ivan Grozny, and they took it across the whole ocean, looking for, uh, they're looking for something, naturally. What were they looking for? Well, he didn't tell. Didn't know or couldn't make it up. <laughs> <laughs> a nice story, but a bit hard to believe. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 it's quite hard to believe. <laughs> no, not that hard. There were lots of those subs when the war broke out. And most of them were out in the sea. Most of those carried their orders, since America is silent. Sorry about that, Sam. The subs on that side carried their orders too, so no sweat. Thanks. In any case, someone might have ignored the order. Instead, they moored quietly somewhere. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Okay, I also heard about an old guy. He was a sub captain or something. And right after the war, he just ordered to park that sub in a small harbor near Vladivostok and started a settlement. They had a nuclear reactor on the sub, enough power for a century after all. Just like in Polyarne Zori. Yeah, so they built a settlement there near the sub and stopped enjoying themselves, okay? What happened next? I have no idea. Never heard anything else. Might still be there. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they? I'd love to live on the seashore enjoying the fruits of civilization like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is horror show. Though I wouldn't go to Vladivostok to settle. Personally, I choose Hawaii. The palms, the sand, surfing. <sighs> that would be the life. Right, that was the dialogue. I just wanted to hear the stories. But before I sit down... Um... I actually wanted to check out the place a bit. Looks pretty cool with the wind blowing the curtains and stuff. Um, but I'm afraid that I will hit some kind of a cutscene and won't be able to check it out anymore. So I am checking out the Aurora a bit. All right, all the weapon racks are filled. So I have, I think, all possible weapons unlocked um let's see what yeah i can just as well gear up already so let's do that bullets seem pretty okay a little bit low on the revolver uh bullets 33 but good enough this is good enough um, i will make some molotovs at least two because if you do hit uh, a heavy like an armor dude molotovs are so effective against them you can really take them out with one molotov cocktail all right then let's check out this weapon is clean t car then we have the bulldog fully clean and we have the a shot clean as well very nice and over here actually everything is also good to go so I am actually ready for action. 
Also checking a bit whether there may be like a... Ah, there's actually an autosave. I wonder whether that is every time when you close the workbench. No, I don't think it is. This weapon I rarely ever use, so maybe, yeah, I will probably start using that one for a change. So that is the... I forgot its name. Um, but let's go with that one for a change. Instead of the A-shot, we will be using... Is it the Shampler? Yes, this is the champ Shampler. Um, one second, light grip. Made from a steel band with fitted plywood lining. This grip is the most practical choice for short range. Wooden stocking grip, traditional for Kalash. Wooden stock with steep angle cutout provides a more comfortable hand position. Heavy stock, heavy shoulder stock with a metal grip. Army type attachment designed to significantly reduce recoil. Really doesn't have any drawbacks as far as I see. Uh, but I'm going with the light grip, short range, why not? Then we have short barrel, extremely easy to handle. Barrel with an improvised suppressor mounted on it, it's useful for stealth. Duck the bill, choke changes the weapon spread pattern, diverting the pellets to the sides. And then we have a long barrel, provides a considerable damage boost along with a small increase in accuracy. At the expense of handling convenience. Alright, it does do a damage boost. But I'm going with the short one. I'm going straight up shotgun. Uh, no uh, sights needed on this one. And then we have a small cylinder, smaller version of the shotgun cylinder. This magazine only holds three rounds, but can be quickly replaced with a new one. This six fixed cylinder, this six round shell holder provides the best reload speed and rates of fire a shotgun could ever achieve. Uh, I don't see any bullets in this one. It's a bit weird. This one is loaded, this one is empty, but whatever. And then we have a shotgun magazine, large shotgun magazine holding 10 rounds of ammunition. Stability goes down. Yeah, I am going with... Uh, smaller version of the shotgun cylinder. Alright, so this is uh, only three rounds, but can be quickly replaced. This has the best reload speed, so can uh, maybe even be replaced even quicker. I'm not sure. And the rate of fire is higher as well. But for a shotgun, I'm, yeah, rate of fire is not the most important, I think. So I'm just going with uh, yeah, the, the minimal version of this game. Almost everything stock or light or um, small. Uh, let's also make one of those. And I would say we're good to go. Alright, and then there was one more thing before I go to dinner. And that is looking outside because we can actually check it out outside which is pretty cool of course here we go very nice let's see what's at the back I think this is the fuel or the water carriage or something. 
Ah, the car is in there. Cannot open it up. Let's check the other side. Man, it's such a cool game. I also really like it that it's a silent protagonist. Ah, collectibles, very nice. Here we go. Tokarev's notes. Rest, I'm writing you a note because I really wouldn't want anyone to overhear. You see, I'm preparing a wedding surprise for Katja and Stepan. And I need your help. I'm making rings for them and I already have the bands to make them out. Oh, I just need their sizes. Stepan's not a problem. After all, I made gloves for all the crew, but I never measured Katja's fingers. And it would be a dead giveaway if I wanted to do it now. I know you have a sharp eye, so perhaps you could help me get the size right without measuring. I could also use some help buffing the rings once they're soldered, as there's not much time left. Thanks in advance. Right, that's so nice. Really nice little world building here. And somehow this workbench looks much more sharper and high resolution than the other one. I'm not sure, but this looks pretty high res. Except for that picture. That's pretty low res. Alright, cool car. Without wheels, not sure why they removed the wheels. Maybe it was too high. It doesn't look so. Should fit. But man, it's such a cool game. And there's also, I forgot about it. But there are also two pieces of DLC, which are ap apparently pretty cool. In one you play as Sam, the, the American guy, it's apparently a really cool um, DLC. And the other one is supposed to be cool as well. So pretty big chance that I will play them afterwards. Alright, let's hit the dinner table. Actually, feel like a board game would be pretty nice. Are there any pictures? That can be uh, collectibles, like you saw with the diary in the train as well. Ah, there's Anna. I was already wondering where she was. Is there anything else here? Can we activate this one? No. Nice, that piece of tape on the on the table. Really nice little details. Making it all feel much more realistic. The only thing I'm wondering if there is like a, there was like a nuclear war. Whether the train tracks are still all clear. Come on, I was not expecting it. that. Don't leave us hanging. Alright, here we go guys. What did I miss? You should have seen them dance. Don't you worry, you'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road and four thousand clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Damir. <coughs> All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, everyone. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, 
Katya. I really like the, the team actually. Oh, They're all pretty cool characters. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward. For, for, for better or for worse. For richer, <laughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish and to death to us part. To us part. <laughs> nice. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and good Gorka! 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 Oh, holy shit. Holy shit! Was not expecting that one. Anna, what's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on. To what's me. happening? What is it? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please. Don't Just hurt her. Give her air. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump. Said How I don't can you believe long. that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Got you, Arthur. A few words. Whoa. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. Holy shit. That was, uh... I okay. don't know about this. The old man is furious. Oh, Artyom's getting chewed up today. It's not Artyom's fault. I fell into that stupid bunker all by myself. And if Dad says one word to him about it, I'll tear him a new one. Yes. In any case, Katya will calm the Colonel down. You shouldn't worry either, Anna. She'll fix you in no time at all. She's good. Ah, she's a I nurse. About that. We drew the lucky ticket with her, especially you, Stepan. That's a fact. Thank you, Anna. Man, they really created believable characters it's amazing this is the f really the first game where you have a pretty big team and you really know their stories of course i read all, up all their backstories and Go, stuff Artyom. i'm better already really man and i actually that gotcha i really hated her voice at the start and i'm actually growing to like her as well It's just an amazing game, seriously. That is, uh, yeah, of course, it has to be uh, y your kind of uh, piece of cake. Or uh, your uh, your thing, so to say, a bit slower paced shooter, survival horror slash FPS. But this surely is my thing. Exploring, graphics, Visceral, gritty. It's for sure. It's my kind of game. All right, let's quickly put some uh, coal into the fire. If that still works. No, nope, not working. All right, then let's get to Curl Neural Miller. Tell me what Arno, do we do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. 
So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for long. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start. And my thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Ugh, Anna coughed out some blood. Oh god. Do you really think it's the same? Sounds more like TB to me. That's for TB sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. What if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Emma's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If our state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to fight that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it. Don't worry. One more thing, Artin. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer. Go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to from Yamantau. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right, a toast to you guys. Just be happy together. To yeah! the toast! Stefan, will you play oh. that song about <laughs> us? Easy as pie. Больше бежать. 
Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю в себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали под звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхи, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamandau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Our team needs a volunteer to support him. Me? Did me? I'll check the hell out of that valley, please. <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers huh? or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for him. You could play Sparta in special operations with the brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Nastya. You're not. <sighs> You said envy was a bad thing, Nadia. But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart girl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you'd teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I could come visit you. <laughs> of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in metal. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. At that note, how about a drink? To repopulation of Earth. To kids. Yes, to children. To, to children. children. Pretty nice, like the colonel. Just like water. And one more toast to the new colony. May it grow and prosper. Oh, this to is the great. New colony. <laughs> to the new colony. <sighs> this stuff is great. And to having more women join it. <laughs> <laughs> Alyosha, I never doubted you. 
Yes, Alyosha. I don't think you should be worried about that. If we are successful, there will be people joining us. Honest, good people. I'm sure they survive too. Well, if any bad people decide to show up, they'll be sorry they did. <laughs> oh, definitely. When we're done with the bad apples here, we might think of something to do about Moscow. That's true. To love! To love! Very, very cool, like Miller was like super hierarchical, <laughs> tunnel vision, but he's really softening up. It's like an old grandpa. It's really nice character development, I must say. It's say. your turn, Aunt Young. Come on, impress us. This heat is just unbearable, I must say. Sit with me, Artyom. The only problem is, I have no idea who this dude is over there. I have the names of everybody in mind, but the guy that is walking away now... It's not Crest, it's not Alyosha. It's not Duke, it's not Idiot, it's not Sam, it's not Stepan. It's not Miller. No idea. I have to check the journal, but I'm pretty sure I cannot get through here now. But before I sit down, and we probably will hit a cutscene or something, let's quickly see if there's anything I can see up front, whether there's any collectible or some stuff. That's the life of a deep playthrough. Ah, cool, you can actually climb up here. Very cool. Mucho Julio. Check it out over here. Maybe something is here. Ah, we can actually get all the way in front. I mean, how immersive is this game? It's amazing. They really nailed it with this game. God damn it. Different monsters, the story is interesting. The graphics, those birds in the sky, far away. I've, I've looked at them earlier in between episodes. They are pretty well done. It's a really big flock of birds. Holy shit. Ah. It's not really loading in. What the hell is this? Small settlements. I mean the level of detail of this. It is that I'm standing here, but if I would not have been gone outside, I would never have seen that. So that's a purely optional thing. that has quite some level of detail though the trees they do look a little bit artificial if you ask me but maybe that's only here some mountains Actually, I don't know what, a farm or something. By the way, I'm hitting the um, 40 minute marker. I have to end the episode. We'll continue in the next one. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope to see you there. For the meantime, don't forget 
always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.